Green frog, lithobates clamatans, not a bullfrog. How can we tell? Look at the line behind each eye, that ridge running down its back. That tells you this is a green frog. Furthermore, you can look at the circle behind its eye, the eardrum. And that tympanic membrane is larger than the eye, telling you that this is a male. So the green frog is the most common and widely distributed frog in Ohio. So by default, probably when you see a frog and you can't tell if it's a bullfrog or a green frog, it's probably a green frog. They're going to be in water, they're going to be in still water more than moving water, warm water more than colder water. Let's let it go. Another green frog here. Can you make out the dorsal lateral ridges? The lines trailing behind each eye. But if you can't make out those ridges on the back, green frogs are a little smaller, about three inches long. Bullfrogs can be gigantic, twice that long. Check out this beaver going for a post-rain swim. Whoa. Yes, we got one. A bullfrog. Take a look at the back of this beast. And I want you to notice there are no lines trailing down its back, no ridges. That's how you know it's a bullfrog and not a green frog. And the same rules apply with that big circle behind the eye. I'll let you figure out if this is a boy or a girl. Now bullfrogs are gonna be, could be, twice the size of a green frog. So we're talking six inches long. And look at this, look at this guy. We're certainly getting there. Bullfrogs have a big, big distribution all around the United States. You know what though, on a hot day, you're more likely to see a green frog than a bullfrog. And on a cool night, same thing, you're more likely to see a bullfrog. For some reason, they can tolerate cooler temperatures, which means you're more likely to find them around streams and rivers too. All right, let it go.